uh, we are looking at the factor for money, okay? Uh, and this is what we are expecting in this uh, course. I uh, want to look at uh, cases of whereby you have a product of probably a, a sine sine, a, a product of um, sine cos, a product of um, a cos, a cos, a product of a cos. Uh, this also has uh, the cases we want to look into for a uh, sum or difference of uh, uh, of this of product of uh, sine and cos, and that. So that's what we want to. That's our target. Uh, that want to lay the foundation, and after that, go into questions. We were able to est establish uh, sine a plus b. We said is uh, sine a uh, cos b a plus cos a. Uh, sign uh, B. Okay. We also said in that uh, video that uh, sign A minus B will give us sign A uh, cos B minus cos A uh, sign B. So let's call this uh, one, one, two, addition one and two. Now we do the addition, add up the three equations together. If you add it together, we're going to have this will cancel out if you add it together. We cancel out. We have to sign uh, a uh, cos b equal to what? Sign a uh, uh, plus b and then plus sign a minus b. Okay. Then please call this equation, call this one equation. Yeah, I'm going to make reference to that uh, uh, shortly. Then another thing again. Can we also subtract the two equations above? Subtract the two equations above. If you subtract equation one minus two, this one will go. We cancel out, and I have this and this. I have two, uh, two cos a uh, sine uh, b equal to what sine a uh, sine a uh, plus b minus sine. A minus B. We have, uh, we have that. Okay. Can we divide 2 by 2? If we divide 2 by 2, then we have cos this one equation B. We're going to make reference to that. So if we divide uh, by 2, we have cos A sine what? Sine B equals to half of the brackets. Sine A uh, plus B. A plus B minus sine A minus B. Okay, this one also, can you divide by 2? You divide by 2, you have sine A uh, cos B equal to half into brackets. Sine A uh, plus B plus sine A uh, minus B. Okay. So, that's that. So, this one is a product of sine and cos. And this one is a product of cos and sine. Okay, so that's that. Let's quickly go to uh, the cosine function, cos a plus uh, b, which will be equal to what? Cos a, uh, cos b, minus sine a, uh, sine uh, b. Okay, and then cos a minus b, give me uh, cos a. Uh, I want to start, let me start from uh, cos a minus b in this case. Yeah, cos a minus b. Let me start from there. And then cos a plus b. So this will be plus. That will be plus. So this will be equal to cos a, uh, cos b, minus sine a, sine uh, b. Okay, call this one 3. The first one 3, 4. Okay. Can we add them together, 3 and 4 together? Equation 3 and 4. If you add it together, we're going to have 2 cos A cos B equal to A. When you are adding this, we cancel out. Okay, then cos A minus B. Then uh, to, uh, plus cos A plus B. Then divide by 2, then we have cos A cos uh, B equal to half into bracket cos A minus B then plus cos
cos a uh, plus b and you close your brackets okay call this one equation c call that first one equation c okay so that's that on that can we also subtract we've done the addition three minus four uh, three minus four uh, three minus four will give me uh, if I mark this will go then I have this minus minus this which will be equal to uh, two sine a sine b equal to cos a minus b uh, plus cos a plus b okay uh, then sine a plus b sine a sine b is equal to half of the brackets um cos a minus b plus cos a plus uh, b okay so call this equation call this one equation d i'm going to give you to that okay what we've done now we've established uh we've established working from what from uh from products to addition okay which was my equation b uh, products yeah you can see products to addition okay also here also uh, products products to addition likewise it's also for products to addition okay let's assume uh if Let's assume if uh, a plus b, let's put a plus b. Uh, let's, if, you, if we put, yeah, if we put uh, uh, a plus b, if we put, if we put uh, a plus b, call it c, and a minus b, call it uh, d. Okay, equation one, equation two. Can you add these two equations together? Uh, a plus b equal to c. And then a minus uh, b, a minus b equal to t. Add the two equations together, then you have 2a equal to what? c plus b. And a is equal to what? half in the bracket c plus d. Can you also subtract the two equations? Then you have 2b equal to c minus d. And b is equal to what? Half c minus d. Okay, so we're going to go back to where I call a, b, C and D and put this value there. Put substitute this uh, or these are uh, A and B. For A now, for A, we have uh, A plus B. That's uh, we call this C. That's sine C. Okay. A plus B is a uh, D. That's plus sine D equal to what? Equal to two uh, two sine half because my A is half c plus d okay uh, cos half c minus d okay then go to equation b also do the same uh, do likewise also substitute your a and b there my equation b is uh is this one here this is my equation uh, that's my equation b okay which will be equal to sine c a plus b that's c minus sine uh, d a minus b is d okay equal to uh, two uh, two cos half c plus d then followed by sine sine uh, half c minus d that's two can you go to equation c also which we have here cos a minus b is what cos a uh, you know, in this case now, 2 plus 3 is the same thing as well, 3 plus 2. So here now, cos A plus B, that will be cos C. Okay, followed by plus uh, cos uh, D. A minus B is uh, D. And that will give me 2 cos, 2 cos half C plus D. And then cos half C minus D. So that's that. On that uh, case, and then go to question D also. That's a uh, cos cos uh, a plus b. That's cos c. Uh, equation D. There's a slight uh, uh, mistake there. 
If you have d, 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4, go come back here. 3 minus 4. So I will set this, uh, we cancel out. Then we have this one, 2 of this, and then this will be a minus b. That will be uh, cos c uh, cos. Yeah, a minus b, okay, minus, this will be minus here. Minus uh, cos a plus b. Okay? So that's that. And in that case now, uh, I think there will be slight operation there. In that case now, if we take minus out here, two sine, two sine, you have two sine a, two sine a, uh, sine b equal to uh, cos a minus b uh, minus cos a plus b. Let's take minus out there. If I write minus here, then we have minus into brackets. Uh, cos a plus b a minus cos a minus b okay equal to 2 sine a sine uh, b okay so it's making sense now so i can now say this one is what cos uh, cos c okay this minus can you move to the other side uh, if you move it to the other side then let me i'm multiplying 2 by minus again so I'm multiplying 2 by minus again, then I'm going to have minus 2 sine what? Sine A, sine what? Sine B equal to uh, cos. Open this one, open this bracket here. That cos A plus B. Okay, cos A plus B. Then, uh, okay, if you multiply 2 by minus, this will just go here. Then you have minus cos A minus B. Okay, so that's what we're going to have there. So if you multiply to my minus, the minus a will go, then you have minus two, uh, minus two uh, in that place. So that will be cos c minus cos d equal to what? Minus two, uh, minus two, uh, minus two, uh, uh, minus two, uh, sine, uh, sine, uh, sine half, uh, c plus d, that's 48a, and then sine uh, half, c minus d. That's what we uh, be. So that's just that on these, uh, on these, uh, on these uh, stuff. And what we are able to establish here is that in this case of this substitution of C and G, what we are doing is that we are converting from the additions of sine, okay, or subtractions of sine, okay, into products. We are also additions of cos. We are converting it to what to products. Okay, subtractions of sine, we are converting what to products. So that's the essence of these substitutions when you are moving from what? From additions to products. Okay, the one of without substitutions is moving from products uh, to addition. So that is the case in this, uh, in this, uh, in this uh, question. Okay, I think uh, that we need to let's quickly look at one question there. So what we have here is uh, 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 what we have here is products. We have product here, products. I want to move it to uh, to uh, addition. Okay. So uh, the choice is yours. You can start from anywhere you like. But the more convenient to start on the left hand side. Okay. Let's start on the left hand side. So we we'll do this one. This is product. Wherever we're taking it to uh, to addition. Okay. And check your products uh, where you have uh, uh, products. Where do you have? Uh, look at this place. Okay, can you see? It's your product. And when you have sine and cos, what is that? What do we say? I'm going to apply that. I'm going to apply that uh, uh, equation A. When you have recall, uh, I'll just say recall sine A uh, cos B is equal to what? Half into bracket what? Half into brackets uh, sine A plus B. Okay, then plus what? Sine A minus A minus B. So that's just uh, that. So when you have sine cos, a product of sine with cos, this is what you're going to have. And we're going to apply that now. So sine 2A cos 4A. This will be my A and this will be my B. And that will be equal to half into brackets. Sine A plus B. We're going to do it straight away. That's 6A. 
okay then followed by plus uh, sine two a minus b a minus b that's minus that's minus uh two b so with that now that will that will that will change to uh, sine two uh two a but this will change to negative it will change to negative it will change to negative 4a minus 2a that's minus uh don't forget that sine uh, minus 2a is equal to what minus sine what minus sine 2 just note that okay then the other one again second one sine 3a cos 9a is just the same thing also we have a product take it to addition that we got what uh, sine this is my a and this might be that's 12 a okay then plus sign then the subtraction this one minus this one that's minus uh, minus uh, six uh, six a minus six a so with that uh, minus now to change this one to what to minus this will become minus what minus uh, minus six so so we've done the addition then the next thing to do now is to do the final conclusion and that will be sign uh, two a uh, cos four a plus sine 3a cos 9a equal to uh, half is there, they just take it outside then 6a plus 6a minus 6a this will cancel out but we're adding the two together and then you have 12 sine 12a minus what? minus sine 2a so that is all that is half uh, proof we have shown we have shown that so that's that on these uh on these uh, uh, uh factor formula it's very one to be uh it's it's not sometimes direct also so but with more parties you get to uh you get acquainted uh with this uh with this uh, with this all this uh, formula so and i'm on to say at this point if you are new on the channel please just hit that notification bell so that as you upload you get notifications Okay, the next thing we want to do now, we want to continue with questions. So we want to apply all this uh, formula. Okay, so join the next video for more questions on these uh, factor formula.